morning, everyone. It's kind of late morning for me, but I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. I kind of slept in. I was tired this morning. But uh, today I thought we would start out talking about uh, thumb picks. Somebody asked a question about thumb picks, and uh, I'm trying to think of a fast answer. <laughs> On my journey of thumb picks because I tried a lot of them and um, and so I've kind of settled on a couple of thumb picks but um, it was not without trial and error and there's a few criteria that I've kind of found that I needed for a thumb pick because I've always been used to playing just with my fingers which you can do that a lot of players that's that's it that's what they settled to and having a small hand if I get a thumb pick that's too big let's see if I've got one here uh, yeah here's one here I think this is this is like a national um, but it's it's really big when I put it on you can see when I go to play with it because it extends out so much it's just not I mean it's not that I can't use it it's just that I don't get the sound out of it because the tab on it is way too long. So, um, so, and you can you can get these and shape them to what fits for you. I mean, I have a small hand, so when I use a thumb pick, you know, I want I don't want it to stick out very far. I just I want it to be as natural as possible. And what's real natural to me is have nothing and just play with your thumb. But you can't get the sound that you get from a, a thumb pick. You can get a whole lot more sound out of a thumb pick. You can hear that? It's just, uh, it's, it's not as loud, it's not as bright. playing just with your fingers if you want to get some speed you can do it with your fingers but again it's not as loud it's not as bright and it's and it's not really as clean and fast but when you put a thumb pick on all of a sudden you got speed it's just a lot faster out a thumb pick one of my criteria was to have something where the the extension or the tab or whatever you call that is not super long that it fit my hand because I have a small hand so I, I'm sure for a man that's playing has got a larger hand he could get away with a bigger thumb pick but I really had to have something that was petite I guess you'd say and uh, or small or for instance if you compare the size of this pick this is the, the one the one I said was too big. It's like a national. Can you see the difference in the extension on that? See, it's much, much longer. It's much fatter. And so when I play, that just gets in the way and I really don't get the sound that I want. And perhaps it's just technique. You know, if I played with it for a while, I can get it. But I have to adjust my hand because I'm used to resting it. And if I want to mute the strings, they don't, it's not as easy for me that it is with something a little bit shorter. Now I made no adjustments on this pick. This is a Fred Kelly pick. And it just so happens I bought it off of Doyle Dyke's website, but he's he, he uses Fred Kelly. And they're great picks. They sell different styles. And I've tried many of their styles. For instance, here's a Fred Kelly pick. Every once in a while, I'll pick this up and play around with it. But again, when you look at the, the tab on it, um, as opposed to the one I was just using, it's, it's much longer. See that? And it's wider. So when I go to play, um, if that, that's too wide, it's not that I can't get the speed out of it. I love Fred Kelly picks. I can, I can, 
but but it still feels a little bit too long. And again, I, if I wanted to, I could take this and just, you know, just sand it down to what, what was comfortable. But I like just be able to get something, just use it. I, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time making adjustments. And this particular style, the one that I got on Doyle Dyke's website, um, and again, it is a Fred Kelly pick. It's like plug and play. It works really well for me. So I kind of settled on that. Although every once in a while, I've, I've used these Black Mountain picks too, because they're much like a pick. You can, you can kind of convert to a pick while you're playing. Um, Thing is, is that what I tr I bought several of these. The first ones I bought were way too when I, I think it was their when they first came out. They were just too big and they were too loose. And even this one's a little loose. And so while I was playing, if I got too aggressive, it would it would just move on me. And so that didn't work. But they do have some that are smaller, and I don't have one here. I I think what happened was Bernice, my dog, got it. She she likes picks. And uh, because I've bought, purchased so many different types of picks, um, it's kind of a joke around here. Wherever there's a pick, they know I've been because uh, I dropped them someplace. They're kind of like rabbit pellets looking for that perfect pick. So, um, but Fred Kelly picks are, picks are great. They have another one that's unlike this one. It's a very skinny tab on it. Um, and I tried that, but what I found was when I was playing, if I didn't keep up away from the string, so it was just the tip of it hitting, um, it, get, it would get caught. So uh, I really have come back to, and again, it's technique. It's, it's nothing wrong with those picks. You really have to go on your own journey, buy some different samples, and, uh, and try it out um, and, and, and see which one works for you. I can't say one is better than the other. Uh, even for these larger picks, this this pick just happened to come off of uh, uh, Tommy Emanuel's website. I always get their picks because I love their playing and I think, what in the world are they using? And so I try them out. Um, but I, I, this one was more of a fail for me. Not that it's a fail of a pick. It's just for me, for my style, for my size hand. So when I put a pick on, you know, you, you want it to be straight, you know, when you put it on your thumb. And again, so it's that natural, that natural um, look when you put your hand, your thumb down, it's natural. It's, it's, it's just, you don't have to bend your fingers this way. It's, um, sometimes I have kind of tilted them a little bit. But for the most part, they're, they're straight up and down when I'm playing. That seems to be the fastest, you know, the, just the natural way where they go when you put them on your thumb. So when you stick a, a thumb pick on your you've got to get used to it. You're going to put it on, you're going to feel like that thing is getting in my way. And the only thing I could say is you have to keep using it and keep playing with it and keep trying. And all of a sudden you realize... can pick things that you couldn't before. And, and, it, and it works. It works really well because you, you just pull that sound that you want. So uh, get thumb picks, try them out, practice, uh, you know, alternating your pick between strings. Even if you're just sitting there and not playing, just... Get used to it. You got to use that that plastic touching that string. Sometimes I'll anchor by putting my my fingers down and anchoring, but or anchoring against the strings. So that's it. That's the thumb pick. I, again, I. I can't make a recommendation for one that's better than the other. Um, and certainly I don't work for Fred Pat Kelly or I'm not representing them, but I have kind of settled on Fred Kelly picks a lot. 
Um, I really, really like these picks. And I like this particular style, even though they have many styles. Try them out, you know, get on. I think you can buy like a sample pack and sit with it for a while and, and, and play around. And practice just alternating back and forth. And keep that pick, don't go too deep with it. Because if you do, you'll get lost. It'll, it'll get caught in your strings. You'll lose speed. It's got to just be the tip of it. And, and again, it's, it's technique and you have to practice. And that being said, when it comes to picks, I think uh, I'll just show you the one. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because today we want to talk about the C ninth chord. But um, uh, I think... The pick that I settled on is by a company called Guitar Moose. And these are the, the, they sell different types. This one is the carbon type and it is the sticky moose. And the wh reason why they call it that is because it has this outer, like a, I don't know, it's like a foam and it'll stick, well, it's, this one's old, but it'll stick to your guitar. If I had a fresh one, it would do it, but it'll stick to your guitar. And, and while you're playing, and then it's it's available to you. And it just fell in my... <laughs> Let me get a fresh one. Hold on, I'm going to turn this on. I'll get a fresh one. Okay, I'm back. So Sticky Moose. Um, this one's a 0 .05. I like 0 .05 on the Sticky Moose only. For strumming. It's a lighter pick, but it doesn't have that click sound that you get... You know, if you just buy it, if I got a point, this I think this one's 0 0.05 too, but it's just a plastic tip pick. You can hear the plastic hit. It's click, 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 click. I don't like that sound that comes with it. But I do like a lighter pick because I get the flexibility and I can pick up the speed that I need. It's just, it's, it's very, very nice. So that's why I like the sticky moose. And I tried a lot of picks. I, um, and, and again, you can just stick it right to your guitar and it'll stay there while you're playing. And uh, when you're ready for it again, just pull it off. It's really nice. Um, so enough of the picks. Uh, maybe I'll spend a little more time with those later on <laughs> in another video.